Hey guys, I just uh, got a new package in the mail today. Um, pretty excited about this. Uh, I've been waiting for it for a little bit. It's been on back order for a little while. It's uh, my new turbo for my Cummins. Just wanted to update you on the project a little bit. Uh, things always evolving, always adding something to it, and this is the new thing I'm adding to it. Um, it's another new Borg Warner turbocharger. And here it is. This is a Borg Warner S500 88.2 and this thing is huge. Uh, I thought my S400 was big when I first got it but nothing compared to this. Um, with this turbo uh, when I got it it comes with this piece and the center section and you have to buy your exhaust housing separately. Uh, I choose to go with a 1.15 and a T6 configuration and let's see here this thing is just massive. I mean, you can see it's an open it's not a twin scroll uh, hopefully that uh, doesn't add any more lag to it but since it's going to be the secondary and atmospheric turbo. I don't think I should have much of an issue at all. Yeah, this thing is just big. Um, honestly, I'm going to be a little worried about space in there now to see if I can actually put this in. Uh, I thought I would have plenty of room. Um, I still think I'll be okay. I'm just a little concerned. <laughs> just from the sheer mass of this thing. This thing is like 80 pounds. It is ridiculous ridiculously huge really heavy um, I can't wait to hear what this thing sounds like on the truck um, I'll go out to the truck and uh, show you some of the things I'm gonna do on that here real quick and uh, what's gonna have to come off what's gonna have to be moved and uh, what I'm hoping to do with it here's my truck again it's a 2006 Ram it's got a 6.7 liter engine in it now uh, so it should help spool that turbo quite a bit quicker um, than the 5.9 would. And uh, obviously all this is going to have to be gone. I'm going to have to remove the uh, second battery here. I'm going to move it to the back of the truck where the spare tire is. Hopefully I can still retain that water bot or the overflow for the radiator there. Hopefully not too much heat's going to hit it. I'm going to have to wrap. I want to keep the AC, so I'm going to have to wrap these lines fairly well. And uh, hopefully it fits. I'm, I'm still kind of baffled at how I'm going to do this. I mean, this S400 looks absolutely tiny now compared to that thing. So um, it's going to be crazy when that thing goes on here. Um, don't really have too many goals for the truck at least. I just really want to get the turbo on there and get everything set up and then we can start pushing for power and see what it can actually do. Uh, I'm going to delete the mass airflow sensor here. Uh, we can tune it off the map since I'm still running all the factory 5.9 electronics on here. And yeah, that's about it. I, I, I may have to move this turbo up a little bit more just to get a little bit more room in here. Um, and then try to keep the outlet of the S500 even with this S400 so it, it's kind of a little bit easier to fabricate pipe for. Um, yeah, that's really pretty much about it. Uh, there's a couple of different ways I can mount the S400. Um, I, I'd like to keep both of them forward facing. Uh, I'd like to keep the uh, S400 sitting on top like this too, but uh, it's if it doesn't fit, I may have to drop it to the bottom, or even worse yet, may have to turn it around. Uh, it'll make some of the piping a little bit easier, but um, we'll just have to see how things go when we start mocking that thing up. It is like 80 pounds, so it's going to be quite the chore of keeping that thing in here and keeping it still and everything. So uh, that's an update on this project, and uh, if you guys have any questions or anything else about the truck or anything you want explained a little bit more, just uh, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.